Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Junk Man, coming back at you with another video. Can you believe another video already? I always feel like I'm sitting low at this table. Do I look like I'm sitting low? I know. I need to change out my hay moose. Lazy. Anyway, what are we going to talk about today? Well, it's New Year's Eve, so I did what many of you do on New Year's Eve. You get you something to drink, cold, pop it open, sit back fire at Google and then go searching for trademark and patent regulation and then go searching for trademark and patents <sighs> I'm sure most of you have already done that today but if you hadn't maybe you want to watch it with me this is where I'm gonna look at some patents from Star Wars toys from Kenner uh, some of was very interesting we get to see a drawings of the figure that they got a patent on and some of them make you scratch your head because you're like why do they file a patent for that when they didn't even make that ship or that figure so maybe they was gonna make it could that be it or maybe they just wanted to patent a bunch of stuff who knows right well before we get started as always you like to support this channel head over to patreon become a patreon supporter get exclusive content or a youtube member both there you get the same perks but some of people don't want to go to a different website so you can just do it right here on youtube I'm really not sure how you do it on YouTube. I'm sure it's down there by the description somewhere. But i never done it on YouTube, so I'm not really sure. Or you can go over to JunkmanMerch.com and buy a cool t-shirt like this. Oh, Lucasfilm pulled this one off. So you can't buy this one anymore. Sadly, it was the best seller. But maybe you can get this one if you hurry. You never know when Lucasfilm or some other company is going to pull it. I did a Jurassic Park parody shirt and Universal Studios pulled that. I thought it was okay to do parodies. I mean, it would have the Jurassic Park logo, kind of, and it had Barney on it. And it said Jurassic Dork. I thought it was funny. I guess Universal didn't. Uh, anyway, so we're going to look at U.S. patents today. I've been all through that. We got a lot of them to look at, but it shouldn't take too long to check them out. We got figures. We got ships. We got vehicles we got animals we got creatures we got everything there is to look at well not everything i didn't pull up every patent star wars lucasfilm did just picked out a few of them to take a look at so i've wasted too much of your time right let's take a look at them starting with one of my favorite ships but i never had it as a collector or as a kid this is a very simple one from 1985 a pattern a, a u.s patent on the A-Wing ship. Oh, isn't that cool? The A-Wing ship. I love that one. One of my favorite ships right there. But never had the uh, Kenner vintage one. Uh, and this is one of my favorite ships for sure. And I had it as a collector. Never had it as a kid. Uh, from 1985 also. is a B-Wing. Now we know this ship was released before 1985. So I'm guessing they maybe had to do an update on the patent. Or just refiled it. And this one, you have to tilt your head a little bit to see this one. But this is the U.S. patent of a speeder bike. Look at that. It looks cool from 1985. Also, again, we know it's already in stores by then. But as you can see, from three different views. And here's everyone's favorite Tauntaun, a closed belly Tauntaun from 1982. I'm guessing this is the closed belly because I don't see any markings on the drawing that indicates that he has the open belly feature, which was a which they added later in the line. Oh, what about this one? FX7. Oh, it's kind of cool here. The drawing shows all the different ways the limbs, the, the little uh, medical arms pop out and everything. I like to look at that one. And let's look at some bounty hunters. Here's IG88. It's funny seeing the top view of IGD8. It looks almost the same from the back and the front and each side. Oh, burr, this makes me cold just looking at it. It's a snow trooper from 1982. You can see him right there. He doesn't have his weapon. Now, they didn't draw, they didn't draw him with the weapons, but there's the figure. And here's a patent for everyone's favorite Yoda. Yoda, that's right, the little Jedi Master. Looks like, he looks kind of angry, like he's got two black eyes or something. Kind of odd looking. And here's Bosk to continue our look at the bounty hunters, one of my favorite figures in the line. That's a pretty cool looking drawing also. And here's fun and here's Dingar. Kind of silly looking. I don't know. Something about the face and everything. Just kind of silly looking. And he's from 1982. And up from 1983, here's 
221B, the medical droid. You can even get a view of his feet with the peg holes. Oh, how about this one? We had a debate about it many a times. Is it a droid or is it an accessory? It's the probe bot. I know, probe droid is what everybody calls it, but Kenner called it a probe bot. Oh, how about this singer right here from 1985? Cy Snoodles right there with her microphone. Interesting, they put the microphone in, being that none of the other figures show their accessories. Oh, here's a little guy that likes to sit on Jabba the Hutt and laugh. Salacious B. Crumb. They even have a patent of him from January 15th, 1985. And speaking of his fat friend, here he is. At first, when I saw this picture, I only saw the top view, and I was like, what is that? It looked like a big giant turd. And then I noticed it was Jabba the Hutt. And I think you all know this one. Clay 2, not Barack 2, or is it Nick 2? I get them so mixed up. And how about this one? We just saw the fate of this guy here in a little teaser for the upcoming Boa Fett show. It's Bib Fortuna. And from 1985, it's a trap. That's right, it's Admiral Akbar. I like this little interesting of R2-D2. It's odd that they didn't put much detail, but it looks like he has a little door on his back. Far as mine, no, far as I know, my little R2-D2 never had a little door compartment on his back. Check out this one, the C-3PO. I like this one. It's kind of funny looking. I like to put that one on a shirt. And this one's really interesting here. This is a toy helmet uh, for a patent of 1981. Now, I'm guessing it's a Stormtrooper helmet, but if you look at it and compare it to the Ralph McCoring early sketches of a stormtrooper, it looks like that. Were they planning to release that as a helmet? I find it hard to believe they would release the concept drawing back in 1981 as a helmet, but you never know. And check this out. 1985, a US toy patent for a sail barge. Yeah, you heard me right, sail barge, a toy patent. This isn't some kind of patent for the drawing or anything. It says it's for a toy. And the 1985 skiff from the Power of the Force line. And there's everyone's favorite bounty hunter, Boba Fett from 1982. Like I said, I think they had to re-up some of these patents. is why they have a later date on them. But that's pretty cool to see. And how about this one? Everybody's favorite orange ship, the Cloud Car, from all different types, from all kinds of angles. And one of the most fun toys as a kid, the AT-AT, or AT-AT. Don't say AT-AT, -AT, please. Add at. And one of my favorites as a kid, the snow speeder. Again, you might have to tilt your head to get a good look at this one. How about this one here? Yep, as you can see from, it says, this is a patent for a toy. That's right, a toy ship. A TIE bomber. We never got a TIE bomber. Unless this is a patent for the diecast figure. Unless this is a patent for the diecast ship. We never got a one. We never got one made for the action figure until the 90s. And this one here, I thought was probably the most interesting. Look at this one. Yeah, that's that medical frigate seen in Return of the Jedi. And as you can see here, it's a U.S. patent for a toy space vehicle. It says it right there. That's the claim. Was Kenner gonna make this? Now they didn't do a diecast of this one. And you're thinking, well, maybe this is something from the 90s. No, the patent is from December 1983. Maybe they just patent a lot of stuff thinking, hey, we'll get around to it. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. Let's go ahead and do a patent on it just in case. But it seems when you're dealing with Star Wars to patent everything as a just in case, that seems like a lot of stuff you have to get a patent on. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in the Star Wars movies. So what do you think about these ships that they never made toys of? Why did they get a patent on them? Like I said, maybe they just thought, hey, it's Star Wars. Let's get a patent just in case we need to make a toy of it. And these aren't just copyrights of things in the movie. These are toys, as you can see from some of the files. I didn't show you all the information on all the files. It says toy vehicle, a toy ship, or action figure. So it makes you scratch your head. Medical frigate for a toy line? I can't see them doing that. I don't think they ever done that today, at least not for the action figure line. And I can't see them doing that in 83. They only look like that fun of a ship for a kid to have. I mean, there were so much better ships they could make. Like that TIE Bomber. Why didn't we get a TIE Bomber? Of course, we got the diecast one. I mentioned that. And we got one in the 90s. But growing up, I would have loved to have a TIE Bomber. Now, I probably didn't really think about it as a kid. 
But looking back, I always loved the tie bomber, and it would have been great to have that as a kid. In fact, they did make a tie interceptor, but to me, I think a tie bomber would have been cooler, especially, you know, could drop bombs when you fly by and everything. It just seemed a lot cooler than that tie interceptor that, frankly, I don't even hardly remember. I know it's in Return of the Jedi. I remember seeing it, but it's just one of those tie fighters I just kind of forget about. Oh, well. That's a look at U.S. patents. Kind of odd topic to do on a video, I guess. Uh, I just thought I'd do something a little different today, being New Year's. So, let's say the hell with 2020 and celebrate the new year. Now, what about the action figure show? I'm going to try to have it up Friday, tomorrow, New Year's Day. But if you don't see a Friday, check back Sunday. Because I'm still thinking, do I want to do it Friday nights or Sunday nights? Friday nights is fun. A lot of people watch it. But over the weekend gives me a, more, a lot more time to work on it. As it takes how it all takes the most time out of any video I make to do. I gotta add the I gotta add Larry Wampa in. I gotta add the other characters in. I gotta write it. I gotta research it for the news. I gotta edit it. So you can understand why Sundays might be better. It gives me a longer time during the weekend. I'm rambling. I'm rambling. You don't care. You don't care. <sighs> anyway. Let me know what you think of some of these patterns. Patterns. Let me know what you think of some of these patents. What did you think of the Imperial Frigate? Do you think they would have made that? Tie Bomber? Or you were like, man, I would have had that as a kid. That was pretty cool. I wish I had that as a kid. Anyway, let me know that. Whatever else you want to know, tell me in the comments. And until the next video, we'll talk again. Oh, I almost forgot. Subscribe to the channel. Thumb up so you like my content. And until the next video, we'll talk again. Junk Man. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>